Hi guys and welcome back to Irony Completed. I have one exam left at university and then I will be completely done with my first year. Isn't that terrifying? How does time move this fast? Since I have now had almost a full year experience of university, I thought I would give you guys 10 things I wish I had known when I went to university. These are things relating to freshers week, living in a flat with people that you don't know, lectures, academic stuff, social stuff, just 10 things generally that I wish someone had told me. This is going to be a part of a university series that I'm going to start doing now, maybe once a month until September or October time. I'm just going to jump right into this because I have a habit of making my introductions like super super long. Got my I just hit myself in the face with that. Got my little notebook here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys some stuff. Number one, don't put every single person that you meet in Freshers Week's number in your phone. You will not talk to most of them ever again, and about three or four weeks into first term, you'll look through your contacts list and go, Do you know, do you know who James is? I have three Jameses in my phone, who, who the fuck is James? Which one is which? It's, it's not worth it. Put a couple people's numbers in your phone, you know, you will stay friends with some of the people that you meet on Freshers Week. My two best friends outside of my flat are people that I met on the first and second night of Freshers. So you will stay friends with people from Freshers Week, but you do not need to put every single person's number into your mobile because you probably won't text 90% of them ever again. Number two, unfortunately, you will probably not love every single person that you live with, but you have to suck it up. It's better to be civil and deal with it than to cause arguments and problems and make living where you live miserable. I'm best friends with five out of the eight girls in my flat. Wait, I am one of those five. I am best friends with four out of the other seven girls I live with and I'm very, very lucky for that. We're very close. Not everyone is that lucky, but from my experience, there will be one or two people that you enjoy living with. And if there really is no one, then you can always make friends on your course. Number three, don't leave reading essays, coursework, anything like that till the night before. Once or twice, yeah, of course you're gonna do it. And a couple of times you're probably not gonna do reading at all, but don't do it every single time. Especially not revision for exams. Do not leave that shit till the night before. It is not worth it And especially don't leave essays that count till the night before. It's not fucking worth it Number four if you can buy your book secondhand If you do an English course like me, then they'll tell you that you should buy specific editions by specific publishers of the literary text that you'll be reading but honestly, I just bought different editions and it doesn't really matter, it doesn't make that much of a difference. But generally, if you can buy your book secondhand, it'll save you a hell of a lot of money and you probably won't read all of a lot of them anyway. This is especially true for textbooks. Just, just buy them secondhand. Amazon has a secondhand thing. There's lots of secondhand textbook websites and I'll leave a few links down below, but it's not worth the money to buy everything brand new. Number five, this is a mistake I made. Don't bring your whole room to university. If you live in a single bedroom like me, you're not gonna have enough room for that shit. You will see in my room tour that I am a massive hoarder and I will readily admit to the fact that I'm a massive hoarder. But the funny thing is that I bought probably about half of the stuff that I have in my room at home with me and it still looks like too much. And my room at home still looks like I live in it. So maybe I'm just an insane person who collects too many things, but you definitely don't need to bring every single item of clothing you own, every single personal belonging, every single book, you know, it's not worth it. You're not gonna have that much space and you'll feel much better if you leave some free space on your desks and your sides and things like that. Number six, I don't know why I'm even saying this because maybe it's obvious to students, but just in case it isn't, make the most out of free shit. Someone offers you free food, take the damn free food. Someone offers you free cutlery, fucking take it, free washing up liquid, free anything, and vouchers. If people offer you vouchers in Freshers Week, you take that shit. Take it. You probably never use it, but take it. Seven, the Freshers 15 is real for most people. If you do not know what the Freshers 15 is, it is referring to the 15 pounds that Freshers supposedly gain during their first year of university. 
while you might not gain as much as 15 pounds or maybe you'll gain more than 15 pounds your weight will change at university most of the people i know have gained at least a few pounds i've gained probably five or six pounds you know it's no big deal really it doesn't drastically alter your appearance or anything but it is real and this is not just because you eat more unhealthy but you drink a lot of alcohol as well and all of this contributes to weight gain so don't be surprised if your clothes feel a little bit tight you'll probably lose it again when you go back to your parents just be prepared for it number eight stationery is expensive more expensive than you would think especially if like me you don't like using biros and you have to use those like ink rollable pens that shit adds up so much i do not understand and printer ink, don't even, not, don't even get me started on printer ink. How is printer ink allowed to be that expensive? Even if you get the refills, what, what the fuck? Just be prepared for this shit. Some of your budget will go on stationery. If you can, buy in bulk and you will save money that could be spent on delicious Lambrini or good brands of vodka instead of cheap shit. Number nine, you can do 9 a.m. hungover, but I wouldn't recommend it. I'm one of those people where my hangover lasts until maybe 2 or 3 p.m. the following day. Yeah, it kind of sucks. And although I don't usually feel sick in the mornings, I get the worst headaches of my life. And trying to pay attention in a 9 a.m. lecture is hard enough, but if you have a 9 a.m. seminar, it's basically impossible. <laughs> if you do go out the night before 9 a.m., make sure you down a pint of water and keep some paracetamol right next to your bed for the morning because you'll probably need it. And if you're one of those lucky people who does not get hangovers, fuck you. That's just not fair. Number 10. Freshers week and the first year of university are neither the best nor the worst time of your life. I feel like people think in black or white. Things have to either be amazing or terrible. But freshers week is kind of a mix of both. And the first year of university is the same. I've had some fucking amazing times. The first few nights of freshers week were the best. The last few were the worst. And I've had some amazing times in my first year. I've made some amazing friends, I've done some amazing shit, and I've also had a couple of nervous breakdowns about deadlines. Just try to take it in your stride. Don't put it up on a pedestal and don't get really anxious about it either, because it's not worth it. It won't live up to your expectations of being amazing, and there's no point fretting about something that's just kind of average for everyone. You'll have some great times and you'll have some shit times. It's okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and you want to see more videos of me talking about university related things, then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Tumblr or Instagram, they'll all be linked down in the description bar. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.